Different type of stormy weather here at the zoo. This is the actual storms that we're watching here. Then there it is just about to push into the zoo. Wind picking up just a bit. Uh, wind gusting over 30 miles an hour. So you might see that around this area of rain. It continues to move south. It was right around Doral and it's just pushing south there and it will continue to hold together towards Homestead. You see now we're seeing outflow from this storm. Still a few lightning strikes, so still fairly intense. Large areas some very heavy rain that continues to move south and that little thin, thin band of green here. That's the air flowing out, so you might see a wind gust or two that'll drop the temperatures a bit. Uh, they are into the 70s just to the north, but Homestead's still around 90 degrees uh, and the keys there. We're still seeing a few spotty showers off the coast. They continue to move south, but want to watch this area closely over the next few hours. Outflow boundaries coming together, triggering more storms. We have a lot of activity along the interior in the Gulf, and this may try to push east over the next few hours, so we may not be done yet. The temperatures have rebounded a bit. They're hot enough. Might see a few showers or spotty shower or storm early this evening. For the most part, this is where the activity is now. Key West looking north towards that. You see the darkening skies. Let's look at the temperatures there into the upper 80s and low 90s here in Pembroke Pines. This is where the air is still pretty hot, but to where that rain's coming in, West Kendall at 79. Homestead will be dropping quickly here. It's 90 right now, but as that storm gets a little closer, the temperatures drop quickly. Continuing to move to the northeast is what left a burrow, and it's uh, now just a medium to low chance of development here. The moisture continues to move away into the North Atlantic. A little tail of moisture is still right over the area here, but it's moving out and we get some slightly drier air coming in. So with the moisture in place, there are these showers and storms and they do try to push east just a bit between about seven, eight o'clock. There they are, maybe up towards the Sawgrass Expressway or the Turnpike. Might just watch a spotty shower or two between eight and nine o'clock. Then things are pretty quiet overnight tonight as slightly drier air comes in and a stronger sea breeze coming in. We do get a few showers developing, but they push into the interior. Notice is not as widespread, just spotty not only Saturday and also Sunday, so a little more sunshine, hotter temperature, but not quite the coverage of the showers and storms. Uh, becomes calm tonight, uh, warm and muggy, otherwise 77 with a light breeze. Tomorrow's a little hotter with a little more sunshine. Isolated storms possible as that sea breeze pushes inland. The wind is east about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Two foot seas on the water, east to northeast wind, 5 to 10 knots. Low 90s over the weekend and then right about average Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with sunshine and just a few storms. We'll keep that going Thursday and Friday.